my name is Elsa and I am a saltwater aquarist here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. And I have had the wonderful opportunity to work very closely with our touch pool over the last few months. Currently at the aquarium, we house three different species of stingrays, totaling 12 individuals. So the three different species that you would see if you came to the aquarium are Atlantic stingrays, Cole's mask rays, aka blue spotted stingrays, and yellow stingrays. We have some species that will get a lot larger than others, and we have other species that tend to stay a lot smaller. So as you might notice, some of our yellow stingrays, they are the smallest species of stingray in our touch pool, and our Atlantic stingrays are the largest. We have two really large stingrays in this touch pool, and those two are females. Female stingrays tend to grow a lot larger than males, one of the most commonly asked questions that we get here is, do our stingrays have barbs? All stingrays have the ability to grow barbs. However, here at the aquarium, we periodically will trim their barbs down to a safe length. This process is very similar to how people will trim their fingernails down to a shorter, safer length so that they can't do any harm. So you may notice when you look at a stingray that you can't see their mouths from the top of their body and this is because stingrays are bottom feeders. So they swim along the bottom and they suck food up into their mouth and then they crush it using their cartilaginous dental plates in their mouth which are lined with thin flat teeth. So they really like to feed on everything that lives on the bottom which mainly includes shrimp and mollusks like clams, oysters and mussels. So the stingrays here in our stingray habitat will eat about twice a day, almost every day, except for one day a week. They will do a morning feeding as a public feed where we bring guests in to meet our stingrays. And then I will come back in the afternoon and try to feed every individual just to make sure that everyone has had a bite to eat for the day. And that way I can monitor trends to see who's maybe not hungry in, in a certain period of time and who is. So we like to give our stingrays enrichment in order to stimulate them and so that we can see their natural abilities. So one of their favorite enrichments to receive is called a jolly ball. So we like to stuff food into the center of the ball through all of the little holes. And then we scatter them throughout the touch pool and the stingrays have to use their natural foraging abilities to find all the balls and then they have to think about how they can extract the food out from the center. So it's a really good way to kind of see how they would forage in the wild and get them to use those abilities here. The stingrays will get the food out from the center of the ball just by swimming over the top of it and trying to suck it out from one of the holes. They have a really strong suction that they can use to eat food or they can push the ball and roll it around and watch as food falls out of the holes and then they can clean up after it. So it feels a little different than what you might think to feed a stingray. They have a natural mucus layer that covers their entire body in order to protect them from scratches and any damage that they might get in the wild. Um, and it also helps disinfect any cuts that they might receive from a predator. So when you touch one of our stingrays, you can feel that mucus layer and it just kind of feels really soft. They don't have sharp teeth like a shark would, but they do have long, flat, um, cartilaginous dental plates in their mouth. So if your finger were to go up into their mouth, you would just feel a lot of pressure. I have been able to watch all of our stingrays and learn all of their different personalities. Every single individual in here will act differently from each other, and I can actually just about tell everyone apart just by how they are acting which is super cool because they're always teaching me something new just by watching them. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you learned a lot about our stingrays here at the aquarium and we hope to see you guys visiting them soon.